we made it to Saturday. Saturday, May 23rd. And we're ready for a nice active yoga class. It is vinyasa style, so we move. You don't spend a lot of time holding poses. So I want you to really focus on connecting your movement with your breath. By the time we're done with class, you want to feel like you've been rejuvenated, we have lots of internal power, and we have a nice, clear mind to see the hope and the goodness that surrounds us. So we are going to start with some relaxation. Let's go ahead and lie down on our mat. Let your arms rest at your sides, palms open to the sky. And just close your eyes. We're going to breathe deeply in through our nose, expanding our belly back in cage on the inhale. Exhaling out through the nose as well. We want to feel that same area of our bodies contracting and emptying. Continue to breathe deeply in through the nose, out through the nose. Let's bring awareness to our face. Relax our eyes, relax our jaw. Relax our cheeks. And then shift awareness into our neck and shoulder. Next, let's bring our breath into our arms and we'll breathe from our shoulders to our fingertips. Now we'll bring our breath into our legs. Let's breathe from our hips down to our toes. Now we bring our awareness and our breath into our spine. We're going to breathe from the top of our head down to the tailbone. Letting our breath make its way in between each segment of our spine. Just the right arm towards the sky. Exhale, let it float back behind us. Inhale, left arm towards the sky. Exhale, float it behind us. Once there, we're going to stretch out through all of our fingers. Push out through the heels of our feet. But make sure that you're not feeling any tension in your neck or your shoulders. And then let's relax and inhale the arms back up. Exhale and back down alongside the body. Opening our palms once again towards the sky. Let's roll our head to the left and breathe into the right side of our neck. Bring the head back up and roll it off to the right. Bring the head back up again, roll into your left. Bring the head up and roll to your right. And then just bring your head down to neutral. Draw the right knee all the way into your chest. Nice tight hug to the body. Keeping our left leg extended with our foot flexed on the mat. And if we can flex the right foot. Work from your heel to your toes. And then let's rotate our ankle. Big toe leads the way with these circles. And then we can just rest our foot where it is. Let's send that leg out and we'll switch. In goes the left leg pushing out through the right heel. Flexing and pointing left foot. And then let's roll our ankle, leading with our big toe. And then we can just rest our foot where it is. 
And let's bring the right knee back in. So we're gonna give ourselves a nice tight hug to the body, shoulders relaxed. Let's rock gently side to side, massage either side of your spine. Settle back to neutral, and from there we'll circle our knees around and around, massaging our lower back. And then let's reverse. Hug the knees in super tight to the body. From there, tighten the belly, press to the back of your ribs, and let's bring the shoulders off the mat. So we're bringing our nose up towards our knees, chin towards our chest. And roll back down. Try again, let's tighten the belly, press to the back of the rib cage, rounding off the mat, using that belly to lift the upper body. And roll back down. Now I want you to flex your feet and spread your toes as wide as you can. Spread them all tight together. And spread them out super wide. Spread them tight together. And spread wide. And then just let those feet relax. Let's do a few more knee circles around and around, massaging over back. And then we'll reverse. And again, just hug the knees in tight. Now let's start to open the knees while the big toes are still touching. You're gonna press those thighs against your ribs while you've got your knees pointing out to your shoulders. And then we'll bring the knees back together. Let's cross at our ankles. Hook around our big toes with our second and third fingers. Tightening the belly, press through the back of the ribs. Round yourself up, holding there. And then on our next exhale, with that belly nice and tight, we're gonna roll up. And then once we've made it up, we've entered our seated cross-leg position. Let your palms open face to the sky. Let the back of your hands rest on your knees. Dropping our chin to our chest, we breathe into the back of our neck. Inhale, lift the head to back, open your throat. Exhale again, chin to chest. Inhale, lift your head to back, open your throat. Exhale again, chin to chest. Inhale, lift and open. Once more, exhale, chin to chest. And inhale, lift open. And then just find your way back to that neutral place. From there, we're going to bring our thumb and index fingers together to form a triangle. On the exhale, we're going to push the triangle towards the sky. On the inhale, we're going to bring the elbows and the forearms down and let the elbows pull open. So we exhale and push up. Inhale, come down and open. Exhale, push up. And inhale, pull open. Exhale, push up. And inhale, open. And then from there, let's inhale the arms wide. As we exhale, we're going to round the spine, let the backs of our hands meet. Inhale, open wide. Exhale as we round. Inhale wide. Exhale round. Inhale wide. And exhale round. Last time, inhale wide. And exhale round. And then from there, start to straighten the spine and let's return to our seated mountain pose. We'll drop our left ear to the left, chin to the chest, right ear to the right shoulder. Chin to chest, left ear to left shoulder. Chin to chest, right ear, right shoulder. Chin to chest, left to your left shoulder. Chin to chest, and right to your right shoulder. And then just let that chin rest on your chest. Slowly bring the head back up. And then I want you to draw your elbows back and bring your wrists under your armpits. Like you're holding a glass of water sideways in your hand. And you're trying to dump the water out over your thumbs. 
From there, we're going to wrap around, let the backs of your hands meet in front. Pull back again, jumping out the water. Bring the arms around. Pull back, jump out the water. Bring the arms around. Once more, pulling back, jumping out the water, and then bringing the arms around. And then we're back into our seated mountain pose. We'll take one final inhale while we're here. On the exhale, let's soften slightly. And then we're ready to move on to hands and knees. So whatever way works for you, that's what you're gonna do. Once we've made it to our hands and knees, check your positioning. You've got shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, tops of the feet, pressed into the mat. Fingers wide spread, hands rotated in slightly, so if you were to bring them closer together, you would form a triangle. Want to feel our weight pressing into the index finger knuckle area of the hand and kind of lifting from the outer edges of your palm. So whenever we're in a weight-bearing hand position, this is the way we want our hands to be. Let's sink our navel, lift our tailbone, lift our head, open our heart, pal. Exhale, scoop the belly in and round for cat. Inhale, propel. Exhale, round cat. Inhale, pal. Exhale, round cat. Once more, inhale, propel. And then exhale, round up for cat. And then we're back to our neutral place. Let's go ahead and send the right leg behind us, pushing through our right heel. Adding the left arm forward, letting the left palm rotate towards the sky. There's our spinal balance. Exhale back down and switch. Push out through the left heel, add the right arm forward, palm facing the sky. Exhale, lower, switch again. Now let the left arm open wide to the side. Bring it back to the front. And return to all fours. Switch again. Right arm starts out reaching forward. I'm going to let it open to the side. Bring it back to the front. And return to all fours. Let's separate our knees. Keep our big toes touching. Push your tailbone back. Walk your hands out towards the end of the mat. Let your chest drop through your knees. And rest your forehead on the mat and feel a really deep stretch running from your fingertips all the way down through the tailbone. And then try flipping your palms upright and feel the stretch go even deeper down the sides of your body. Let's flip the palms back over. Remember your hand position. Tuck the toes and start lifting tailbone towards the sky. Bringing us into downward facing dog. Your head is simply dangling through your arms. We can feel our rib cage pulling closer to our thighs. And we can feel the bottom of our shoulder blades pulling towards the gluteals. Let's nod our head yes a few times. And then let it shake no. And then it's just gonna hang there while we walk our dog a few times, lifting and lowering each heel individually. Let's raise our heels at the same time, and then press them back down. From there, let's inhale ourselves forward into plank. Eyes looking out, belly button tight, buttocks is not tight, it's relaxed, but we're pushing through the back of our inner knees. Press back up into down dog. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Modify to your knees. Start to lower your body, elbows go wide. Chest comes down, hips come down, elbows tuck in. Inhale, rise into cobra. Elbows wide again as we melt. Tuck them in as you inhale, rise into cobra. Exhale, going wide. Tucking in, lengthen that spine before you lift. Tuck the toes, come back up, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank, modify if you'd like. 
Lowering elbows wide, chest down, hips down, elbows tuck in. Inhale, rise, cobra. Exhale, tuck toes, downward facing dog. Inhale again to plank, modify if you'd like. Exhale, elbows wide, chest down, hips down, elbows tuck in. Inhale, rise, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a giant step forward with your right foot. We've got the foot between the hands. We've got the knee over the ankle. We've got our weight and our right big toe, second toe. Eyes looking out. Start to lift your upper body, bringing you into your high lunge. Extend the arms wide. And then try lifting arms higher for crescent lunge. Exhale as we fold forward, drop down onto your left knee, press down to the top of your left foot, re-lift upper body, press it move. Arms open as we rotate to the left and look out past your right hand. Tip forward, bring your right hand to the mat, send your left hand towards the sky. Exhale back around, tucking those left toes, return to your lunge, send the right foot back into plank, press back up, maybe down low. Step the left foot forward this time, knee over ankle, weight pressing into our big toe, second toe. Once you're ready, lift up into your high lunge. Extend the arms wider to the side. And then add the arms for crescent lunge. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the mat. Lower the right knee, press to the top of your right foot. Relift the upper body, crescent moon. Arms go wide. Rotate to your right, look over your left hand. Let's lower the left, lift the right, reaching high to the sky. As we exhale, come back around. Let's lift the right knee, bringing us back into lunge. And now step your right foot forward. Always standing with our toes in slightly, heels out slightly. Upper body is like a rag doll resting against our thighs. Inhale to roll up. Let's reach and touch the sky. Exhale, reach your into your heart. Inhale to the sky. Exhale to your heart. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink deeper. Right foot back, left foot back into plank. Remember your hand position, modify if you'd like. Elbows wide on the way down, chest down, hips down, elbows tuck in. Lengthen before you rise, cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, down dog. Right foot forward, left foot forward, toes and heels out. Inhale, rolling the body up. Reach high and touch the sky. Exhale to your heart. Inhale to the sky, exhale, folding forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink deeper. Left foot back, right foot back, plank. Exhale, lower, elbows wide, chest down, hips down, elbows come in. Inhale, rise, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, forward to plank. And exhale, down dog. Left foot forward, right foot forward. Toes and heels out. Inhale, roll up. Reach to the sky. Exhale to the heart. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink deeper. Right foot back, left foot back, plank. Exhale, coming down, elbows wide, chest down, hips down, inhale, elbows in, 
Rise, Cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank, lift the right foot, press in the three-legged dog. Step the right foot forward, left foot forward, toes inhaled out. Inhale, roll up, reach to the sky. Exhale, right turn to the heart. Inhale again to the sky, exhale, folding forward. Inhale, look out, exhale as we sing. Left foot back, right foot back, holding plank. Abs to lower, elbows wide, chest down, hips down, elbows in. Inhale, rise, cobra. Exhale, tuck toes. Downward facing dog. Inhale again to plank. Lifting our left foot. Press back in the three-legged dog. Step the left foot forward, right foot forward. Toes and heels out. Inhale, rolling up. Reach high to the sky. Abs to return to your heart. Let your arms extend to your sides. Palms facing forward. Standing mountain pose. Heel your weight, pressing into your big toes, second toes on both feet. Lifting out of your spine, opening up your heart. Feeling your fingertips reaching towards the earth. Inhale again to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale, melt deeper. Step back with your right foot, bringing us back into lunge. From there, let's push right heel to the mat, turn right toes out. Align your left heel with the back of your right heel, and then start to lift upper body. Squaring our hips to the front edge of our mat, we've got our left knee over our ankle. We're gonna add the arms when we're ready, creating four to one. Let the arms open wide, stay long in the waist, hinge forward, brings us to airplane. Arms extend forward alongside of our ears, and then as we inhale, we rise right back up into warrior one. And then reopen the arms nice and wide, start to pull that left leg straight, and let's rotate. So now we're gonna face the wide edge of our mat. We've got our toes and our heels out. Palms facing the ceiling. Feet a little wider than our hips. Body plan is done. Start to hinge forward. Stop when you're parallel to the mat. There's our straddle airplane. And then from there, let your hands release to the mat. We'll inhale to look out. Exhale, extend the elbows, let the forearms drop, let your head drop. Just let that upper body release. Let's push down through the palms and press the arms straight. And now I want you to walk yourself around so you're going to face the back end of your mat, which means you should be facing your right foot. We're going to stay on the ball of our left foot and start to lift up the body. That's bringing us back up into high lunge. We'll add the arms again towards the sky for crescent lunge. Let's open the arms wide to the side. Rotate a little bit to your right. Come back to center, rotate a little bit to your left. Come back to center. And then fold forward, returning your hands to the mat. Let's walk ourselves back around in the straddle. Once again, facing the wide edge of our mat. We're gonna press our right palm into the mat and then bear down on it with your left. Like you're trying to push your body away from the mat. And then as we inhale, start to open your left arm to the side, revolving the waist, and there's our twisting straddle. Let's exhale that ear back down. Once it's back down, we're gonna inhale, look out with our flat back. 
Re-extend your arms for airplane and slowly rise from there. Turn your palms to the sky once you've made it up and we are back in five-pointed star. Now let's inhale the arms towards the sky. Let your fingertips meet and notice that your arms are a little bit in front of your ears so we're not feeling any tension in the shoulders or the neck. And then press your palms together. Let's lace all of our fingers and then press your index fingers together. Start to lower the arms in front and feel that deep stretch across your upper back, across the back of your shoulders. And then let's reopen into our star. Now we're ready to turn our left toes to the front end of our mat. This time aligning your left heel with your right arch. Body is tall and straight. We're gonna bend that left knee, inching it out over our ankle without going beyond our toes. And then we're looking out over our left palm. And there's our warrior two. Let's bring the right arm up alongside our ear. Stand a little forward with the left, and then as you lift the left, lower the right. Turn your left palm towards the sky, opening into reverse warrior. Exhale, think about a cartwheel. Now you can either bring your left forearm to your thigh, or your left hand to the mat, but your right hand's gonna reach to the sky. And that's extended angle pose. Now let the right arm start to lower to your head so it makes a circle around. On the way back up, we're back into warrior two. And then we're gonna pull that leg straight once again. So we're right back where we started. Allowing us to build our triangle. We start by pulling our right hip behind us and our left arm reaching out. And you're gonna go as far in either direction as you can and then you can lower your left hand and lift your right. So feel the back side of your body pressed against a wall and feel like you're being pulled up towards the sky. You wanna create a lifting feeling, not a sinking feeling. In fact, you could maybe even let that left arm swing a few times to show you that you're not sinking down, but you're being pulled up. And then just reattach your hand. As we exhale, let's start to bend that left knee. Revolve the upper body, returning us to our lunge. Let's step the left foot back, bringing us into our good strong plank. Lowering elbows wide, chest down, hips down, elbows come in. Inhale, lengthen before you rise into cobra. Tuck your toes, press back up, downward facing dog. Inhale, return to plank. Lift the right foot, we press back up in the three-legged dog. We send that right foot through the hands, bringing us back into lunge. And then from here, we're gonna to start to straighten the right leg and push our left heel to the mat. Lift up your right toes. Let your upper body melt into your right thigh. Breathe into those hamstrings. And then let your toes sink back down, sinking a little bit deeper. Let's start to breathe out the right knee. Return to the ball of your left foot to your back and lunge. And then we're gonna push the right leg straight again, but this time extend your left leg behind you. Position your hands to form a tripod. And there's our tripod balance. So we can remain here, or we can move this into half moon by simply aligning your right thumb with your right pinky toe. Opening your left hip. 
and then extending the left arm towards the sky, directly above your shoulder. The weight in your right foot should be pressed into your big toe, second toe. Exhale your left hand down. Step the left foot in. Toes in, heels out. Let's start to bend our knees. And as we do that, we're going to pull those knees close, close, close together. Sinking your glutes down. You're going to lift your ribs away from your thighs. And then add your arms alongside your ears. There's our chair pose. Let's inhale and rise from our chair. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale again, touch the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink deeper. Stepping left foot back this time into our lunge. Once there, let's push our left heel down, turn our left toes out. Align the back of our right heel with the back of our left heel. Weight pressing into right big toe, second toe. We're lifting. Knee is stationed over the ankle. We've got our hip bones square, and then we can add the arms when ready. Giving us warrior one. The arms go wide, hinge forward into warrior airplane. Bring the arms forward alongside your ears. And then let's inhale, lift back up into warrior one. Again, the arms go wide. And now we're gonna pull that right leg straighter and straighter without locking. And we're going to rotate the upper body so we end up facing the wide edge of our mat. Adjust your feet, toes in, heels out, palms facing open. Feet a little wider than our hips. We're in our five pointed star. From there, let's begin to hinge forward, bringing us into straddle airplane. And then as we exhale, let's bring the hands back down to the mat. Inhale, look out. Exhale, let's mount. Let the upper body completely relax. Bend your knees as much as you need to. We don't want to feel any of this in lower back. Push down through the palms, straightening the arms. And then from here, we're going to walk ourselves around and face the back end of our mat. So now we should be facing our left foot. We're on the ball of our right foot in our lunge. We're going to lift up our body. Bringing us into high lunge and then adding our arms. There's our crescent lunge. Exhale, let's fold forward once again. And we can make our way back around into our wide straddle, facing the edge of our mat. Let's slide the left hand over so it's centered beneath us, and then push on it with your right hand. And we'll inhale, right arm out to the side. Exhale, revolve with the waist. And that brings us into our twisting straddle. And notice that we're not feeling any tension in the shoulder or the neck. We're just letting our fingertips reach up towards the sky. And they can do that because we've made a rotation at the waist. Let's exhale that hand back down. Reposition the hands and then inhale, flat back, look out. Open the arms wide, bringing us back into airplane. And then from there, we can rise to standing. Palms open, face to the sky. Feet a little wider than our hips, toes in, heels out, and we're back in our stuff. Let's rotate the palms to face forward. Let the hands meet together. Place all of your fingers, and then press your index fingers together. 
Inhale, lift the arms up. See, they begin to frame our head, keeping them a little bit in front of our ears. Try to stretch a little taller. Back bend slightly. Inhale, back to neutral. Exhale, let the arms open and lower. And same thing behind the back. Clasp your hands. Press your index fingers together. Press the heart center forward. This time, pulling down with those index fingers. Tipping back, opening your heart. And let's inhale back to neutral spine. Re-extend your arms. We return to our star. Turning our right toes to the front end of our mat. Aligning our right heel with our left arch. Front of the body remains facing the side of our mat. We're bending that right knee into it down over the ankle without going past our toes. We're feeling our weight pressed into our right big toe, second toe. Now lift the left arm up alongside your left ear. Extend the right arm a little farther out as the right arm rises, the left arm lowers. I'm gonna rotate that right palm towards the sky, reverse warrior. On the exhale, think about your cartwheel. You can place your right forearm on your right thigh or reach your right hand down to the mat. Meanwhile, your left fingers are on the ceiling. Your body's open like it's being pressed against a wall behind you. Start to lower the left arm towards your hip. It's going to make a full circle. On the way back up, we're into warrior two. Good, and then let's pull that leg straight once again. And we're back in our start position. Ready to build a nice, open, powerful triangle. Start by pulling your left hip left, reaching your right arm right, so it's all the way out in either direction once we can't go any further. We lower the right, we lift the left. We can feel our body pressing against the imaginary wall. And it feels like we're being pulled up towards the ceiling so we're not sinking down. See if you can let your right arm swing. And then let it reattach. We'll take one more inhale. On the exhale, let's start to rebend the right knee. Revolve your upper body. Return your hands to the mat, bringing us back into lunge. And then we'll step that right foot back, bringing us into our plank. Lowering elbows wide, chest down, hips down, elbows tuck in. Press down through those hip bones, lengthen that spine. Rise into cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes, your back up into downward facing dog. Inhale, forward to plank. And exhale, down dog. Next, then the right leg behind you, stretch up towards the sky. And then let's step the right foot forward. Step the left foot forward. Inhale, let's roll up. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Left foot back, right foot back, full plank. Now lift your left leg and push back into three-legged dog. Step your left foot through your hands. That brings us back into lunge. And then we're going to start to straighten the left leg as we're pushing our right heel down. Lifting up our left toes and melting down into that left leg. And 
then see if you can let your toes sink back down into the mat while you're here. Now let's start to re-bend the left knee, bringing us back into our lunge. And then from there, we're going to push the left leg straight and extend the right leg behind us, hip level. Positioning our hands so they form a tripod with our left foot. And we can stay in tripod or we can move to half moon. So we simply align our left thumb with our left pinky toe. We start to open our right hip. We can add the right arm to the sky. So feel your weight in that left foot pressing into your left big toe, second toe. That's going to help you not allow your weight to roll into the outside edge of your foot. As we exhale, we're ready to bring the right hand down if it's lifted. We'll step the right foot in. Toes in, heels out. Bend, bend, bend your knees. Pull them closer to together as you keep sinking those hips. Lifting ribs away from thighs, adding arms alongside ears. There's our chair pose. Inhale, reach high to the sky. Exhale into our heart. Inhale again to the sky. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink deeper. Let's cradle our elbows in the palms of our hands. Let your head just dangle within that nice little frame. Feel your ribs pressed against your thighs, so maybe you have to bend your knees a little bit more to make that happen. And then let's release our fingertips to the mat. Step back with your right foot. Step back with your left foot. Returning us to plank. Now let's keep right shoulder over right wrist. We'll turn to open for side plank. Modification, side of the knee on the mat. Come back around into full plank and we'll switch. Left shoulder over left wrist, extending towards the sky. Exhale back around. Again, right shoulder over right wrist. Moving back into side plank. Now try stepping your left foot forward. Back around. Extend the left leg behind you. Keep it off the mat. And then let's bring that left knee around to the outside of our left elbow. Send it back. Bring it to the elbow. Send it back. Once more to the elbow. Send it back. And then set the foot down. Switching sides. Left shoulder over left wrist. Once again, we're in our side plank. And then let's step the right foot forward. And come back around. Extend the right leg back, but it's not going to touch the floor. Pull the right knee to the right elbow. Send it back. Bring it to the elbow. Send it back. Once more to the elbow. Send it back. Set your toes down. Cross back up. Downward facing dog. From there, let's ease down to our knees. Separate our knees, touch our big toes, push your tailbone back towards your heels. 
drop your chest between your knees and really extend out through those fingertips. Let's pass the left arm through the right armpit. Let your shoulder mount into the mat. Bring it back out, we'll switch. Good, and once again, push back. Let's scoop the belly in and round up into our cat. Sink our navel, lift our tailbone, open our heart, there's our cow. Exhale around for cat. And inhale, open for cow. And then just find your way back to that neutral place. From here, let's take the right knee and inch it forward behind our right wrist. Use your left hand to guide your right heel towards your left hip bone. And then we're going to start inching that left leg further back. Easing your body down. And just let go where you can. Now remember, forward pigeon is not a thing that feels good to your body. Flip over on your back. You can do upside down pigeon. It's the same thing. While we're here in our pigeon, I want you to be pushing down to the top of your left toes and feel like you're pushing the outer edge of your right pinky toe into the mat as well. And then from here, let's inhale and start to rise. That brings us up into third position pigeon. And then from there, let's see if we can lift the left arm, maybe the right arm also. And then let the arms float open. We're gonna shift our weight all the way onto our right hip. And then we're gonna stack the left knee on top of the right knee. Knees and feet as close together as we can. Hold on to your ankle with your one hand. Set the opposite arm up and side stretch over to your left. Come up with your left hand, grab hold of your right wrist, and just give it a little bit of a pull. Inhale back up, exhale, open your arms. And then we're going to take our left foot and just step it across with that right knee. Place that upper left arm against the inside of your left thigh. Walk your right hand a little farther behind you, sitting up taller and straighter as we inhale. Exhale, we're going to rotate at the waist so we can look over that right shoulder. Inhale, reach the left arm to the sky. Exhale, float down. Go ahead and uncross. Let's come back around onto all fours. Navel sinks, we lift our tailbone, we lift our head, open our heart, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. And then we're back to neutral. Now let's get your left knee forward this time behind the left wrist. We're going to use our right hand to guide that left heel across the body. Aim it at your right hip bone. Open that knee wider to the side, and then ease down where your body lets you go. Now remember, upside down, pigeon is the other option. We're pressing down to the top of all five of our toes on the right foot, and we're pushing into that left pinky toe.
On the next inhale, let's start to lift the upper body. Bringing us into our third position pigeon. Maybe adding one arm and the other arm. Exhale as we open down. Shift all of your weight onto your left hip. And then let's stack the right knee on top of the left. Knees and feet as close together as our body allows. Holding onto our right ankle with our right hand. Send the left arm high. Little side stretch to the right. Remember that your left palm is facing the ceiling. And then come up with your right hand. Give that wrist a little bit of a pull. Exhale as we release. And then we're going to take that right foot and step it across to that left knee. Once it's there, let's place that upper right arm against the inner right thigh. Walk your left hand a little bit farther behind you. Inhale, sit taller and straighter. Exhale, rotate at the waist so we can look over that left shoulder. And inhale your right arm high. Exhale, let it go down. From there, we can uncross. And we'll extend our legs out, almost straight, but not quite. Keep a little bit of a bend, hinge over, try to grab hold of your big toes, pull your ribs into your thighs, and then try inching your feet out further so your legs get straighter, and you fold it in. Inhale as we roll up. And then once we've made it up, we can bend our knees. We'll place our hands behind our thighs. Relax our shoulders from our ears. Make sure we keep our spine nice and straight. And then find your balance on your tailbone. Start extending your legs go where you can without rounding your back. Once you found your balance, we're going to start with the arms, shoulder level reaching in front and then try lifting them alongside your ears. And from there, slowly opening it down, down to the ground. Press out through your heels, reach out through your fingertips. Let your body go a little soft, and let's bring the right knee to the chest. Extend your right leg towards the sky. Walk your hands up as high as the right. Think about pulling your toes over your head. And then we're going to take our second and third fingers, wrap it around our big right toe. Now, if you can't reach your toes, that's okay. You can put your right hand on the inside of your calf. You can even hold your pant leg. So while we're pulling the toes forward, I want you to put your left hand on your left thigh to remind you not to lift your left hip and start to open your right leg out to the side. You're going to take it out as far as it will go without lifting that left hip. So that, what that means is if you try to slip your hand under your left hip right now, you couldn't because there's no space between your buttocks and the mat. Let's open the left arm and look left. And then we can bring that right leg back up. And then once it's there, I want you to bend your right knee. Set your right foot on the floor. Arms at your sides. Shoulders pressing down. I want you to slowly start to lift your hips off the mat. So you're essentially in a one-legged bridge. Your left leg is just hanging out there. And then try lifting your left leg towards the sky. Keeping weight out of your neck. And you want to be feeling this in your gluteals and your right hamstring, not in your right thigh or your knee. Now let's bend the left knee and set the foot back down, bringing us into our two-footed bridge. 
and then you can slowly melt down from there. Once we're back down, let's extend the right leg out onto the mat. Pull the left knee into your chest. And then extend your left leg towards the sky. Reach up as high as you can. Think about putting toes overhead. And then we're going to try hooking around our big toe. You can't reach our toe. You know the option. You can put your left hand inside your left ankle or hip. You can even just hold onto your hand leg. So we're pulling that toe over ahead. I want you to put your right hand on your thigh. That's a reminder not to lift your right hip. And then start to open your left leg wide to the side. And again, you're taking it only as far as you can without lifting your right hip. So if you go to try to slip your right hand under your buttocks, there should be no room for it because it's pressed into the mat. Let's open the right arm and look right. And then we'll bring the left leg back up. And then go ahead and bend your left knee and place it on the mat. Bring your arms in close to your, to your body, palms facing open. Tighten the belly and slowly peeling the hips off the floor. So we're in that wide-footed bridge. And then try extending your right leg up towards the sky. And then from there, let's free down the right knee. Place your foot down. Pressing your hips a little bit higher into our two-footed bridge. And then from there, we can slowly begin to mount back down one vertebra at a time. Once you've made it all the way back down, let's pull knees to chest for a nice tight hug. Do a couple nice knee circles around and around, massage that lower back. And then let's reverse. Keep your knees in all oh, so tight to the body. And then start to separate your knees. Try to get the soles of your feet to meet together. And while you're doing that, pull your heels closer to your body. And there's our line butterfly. And then we're going to separate the feet, but keep the knees bent. Still holding on to the outer edges of your feet. Push your flat feet towards the sky. And while you're doing that, pull down with your hands. And there's our dead dog. Or happy baby, whatever you want for her. And we're just going to feel resistance between our hands pulling down and our feet pushing up. Everything else is relaxed. And then start to push your legs out straighter and wider. And that brings us into our line stand. And then let's re-bend coming back into our dead bug. And then letting the soles of our feet meet once again. And turn into our butterfly. And then from there, let's bring your knees back to our chest. A few rocks from side to side. And then we'll return our feet to the mat. And go ahead and stretch out one leg at a time. And once the legs are all the way out stretched, I want you to flex your feet and really tighten the muscles from your hips all the way to your heels. Nothing else is tight, just your legs. And then let your legs go soft. Arms a few inches out from your body. It's going to stretch from shoulders to fingertips. So now just your arms are tensing. Everything else is relaxed. And then let your arms go soft. 
Now let's do the same thing with your belly. You're gonna pull down on the back side of your belly button. Just gonna hold the belly firm. We're not tensing anything else. And then let it go soft. Your eyes and continue to breathe. And today I want you to attach your most favorite color to your breath. Once you can visualize that color, we're going to start guiding the breath around the body. We're going to enter through our toes. To see and feel our breath swirling around the bottoms of our feet, moving up into our ankles, circulating through the calves and the shins, round and round the knees, in between all those intricate areas of the knees. And bursting its way into your quadriceps and your hamstrings. Leading us into the pelvis. And moving into the spine, starting at the very tip of that tailbone. Leading itself all the way up the length of the spine. It gets up by the shoulder area. Let it spill across into your chest and through your ribs. And then see it migrating its way into your shoulders. Down into your biceps and your triceps. Swirling around the elbows. Entering our forearms, down into those hard-working wrists, and then into the palms, and then out through each and every finger. It's going to flow right back up the arms, into the shoulders, and now it's going to hang out in the neck. Our jaw. And relax that jaw. Make it a little easier to smile. Relaxing our cheeks. Relaxing our eyes so they're soft. Moving into that forehead. Erase, re, erasing all those worry lines. Finally, as it floats off the top of our head, we can see it leaving and taking with it the darkness of our stress. People are illogical, unreasonable, and self-centered. Love them anyway. If you do good, people will accuse you of selfish, ulterior motives. 
do good anyways. If you are successful, you will win false friends and true enemies. Succeed anyway. The good you do today will be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyway. Honesty and thankfulness make you vulnerable. Be honest and frank anyways. The biggest men and women with the biggest ideas can be shot down by the smallest men and women with the smallest minds. Think big anyway. People favor underdogs, but follow only updogs. Fight for a few underdogs anyways. What you spend years building may be destroyed overnight. Build anyway. People really need help, but may attack you if you do help them. Help people anyway. Give the world the best you have, and you'll get kicked in the teeth. Give the world the best you have, anyway. Let's send away all of our anxious thoughts. Make a choice to live today with courage, with an open and grateful heart. Always extending random acts of kindness. Remember that my soul honors your soul. I honor the place in you where the entire universe dwells. I honor the light, the love, the truth, the beauty, and the peace within you because it is also within me. In sharing these things, we are united, we are the same, we are one. Namaste. So when we go out and about, in this beautiful weather that we've been having, we're going to be thoughtful of ourselves and of others by wearing a mask. Simple thing to do. We're also going to make sure that we're vigilant at washing our hands at least 20 seconds at a time. And we're going to make sure we maintain that social distance. So please enjoy the day. Thank you for sharing your morning with me this morning. It truly warms my heart. And I will talk with you guys soon. Take good care. Bye-bye.